championship hoops. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to break any press. When it comes to breaking a press, you're gonna to have to have some keys and some things that you're gonna to wanna to work on during practice. So our first key is, we're gonna to wanna to catch and face. Anytime you're trying to break a press, it's important that when your players catch the ball, whether, the, whether they are the first person to catch it or the next pass, they want to catch it and face up the court. In these clips, you're going to see both players catch the ball and immediately face up. Our second key is we want to use pivots. When we catch that basketball, we want to make sure we're in a low triple threat position. We can step across, we can sweep through. We want to use our pivots in order to gain leverage and blow past our defenders. In these clips, you're going to see our player utilize his pivot foot. Our third key is we got to have a strong dribble. Now, anytime we catch the ball, we face up, we use our pivots, and we have to put the ball on the floor, we want to make sure our first two dribbles are strong, hard dribbles. In this clip, you're going to see us use a strong dribble to get all the way to the basket and attack the defense. Our fourth key is, no matter what type of formation you're in, when you're trying to break a press, you want to make sure whoever has the ball, they can see three players. Here you can see whoever has the ball, they're able to see three players looking at them. Our fifth key is, we want to make sure that our players who do not have the ball, give the players with the ball targets. Make sure your players know that if they're not the player with the basketball, they are trying to, trying to find a way to get open, they're giving a target, they're meeting the basketball, and they're calling for it. Here, our big does a great job of, of continuing to give our guards a big target. Our sixth key is we want to utilize a back dribble. Anytime we're going down the sideline or we see a trap coming where we're going to get in any kind of trouble, we want to utilize that back dribble to get out of that situation and get into a better one. Here, we utilize a back dribble to get out of a tough situation. Our seventh key is we want to utilize ball fakes. When we catch that ball, we face up. We use our pivots. We want to utilize ball fakes to try to shift the defense out of position. Here we utilize a ball fake just to shift the defense out of position. So this particular team like to run a 2-2-1 press. And the way that we align to a 2-2-1 press is we're going to have our inbounder throwing in the ball. Our guard is going to try to get it wherever he can. But what's most important is we're going to have two guys in both of these corners right before the uh, half court line. Now, wherever our guard receives the ball, if he receives it over here on the right side of the floor, the opposite guard is going to flash into the middle. And it just goes back to our keys. We want our, our player with the ball to be able to see three players. And right here, we can see we got one up the sideline, one in the middle, and one behind in order for us to be able to reverse the ball. Now that I've gone all over the keys, coach, I'm gonna show you how my team uses all seven of these keys in order to be successful against any press. Here you see us face up, attack the defense, relocate by using a shallow cut, and we almost get an easy layup.
here we do a good job of just being patient, facing up, picking and choosing our spots, and then attacking the defense, which then leads to a wide open three. Here we do a good job of just pivoting, facing up, and then attacking the defense. Here we do a good job of facing up, using some ball fakes, some pivots. We get the ball across, and even though we're in a tough spot, we still just don't turn over the basketball. Here we do a good job of just facing up and then attacking the defense. And we also do a good job of just being patient. What I love about this clips are the ball fakes and the patience. We're able to get the ball across. We're able to settle in into our zone offense and we actually go from our nail to our flank for an easy layup. In these clips, we utilize ball fakes, patience, and we're able to see the floor really well, and we, it leads to an M1 layup. We did a phenomenal job in this game of not turning over the basketball that led to points. This is one of the few times we turn it over and they actually get out on a fast break, but luckily we're able to retreat and play some solid defense.
thing that I'll leave you with is make sure you're working on skill development in practice. If you can do that, that's going to carry over to you being able to beat any press that's thrown your way. I appreciate you for watching, Coach. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate it.